Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. I have some very bullish news for you all. eBay, the marketplace giant, is about to add crypto payments and they're also looking into NFT auctions. This is huge adoption news. I'm gonna break it all down. I'll play a clip from eBay CEO talking about this. In addition, Ethereum is going crazy. It is uh, over $3,400, guys going parabolic right now <laughs> and i'm so glad i'm holding ethereum we're going to break it down in addition mogo bought ethereum and they had already bought bitcoin so we are seeing more companies are buying up uh, crypto and using it as a hedge against inflation before we get into it go ahead and hit that thumbs up button leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button if you're new here it helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything Guys, friendly reminder, I have a free weekly newsletter. Be sure to sign up, link in the description. And I will be interviewing this week the director of research at Grayscales as well as the uh, CEO of Proppy. So you don't want to miss those interviews. Make sure you hit the subscribe button with a notification bell enabled. So let's take a look at the market here. Bitcoin, not much happening. But Ethereum is where the story is at, over $3,400. It is up 33%. From a seven day perspective, up near 15% from a 24 hour perspective. Huge gains, guys. Huge, huge gains. Look at these green candles on the daily chart. My goodness. Now, as you can see, um, this is probably a start of a correction here, but I am expecting a $10,000 Ethereum price at the peak of this bull market. It could go higher, but that's my number that I'm targeting for a cash out. And we still got ways to go in this bull market, guys. This is huge. And this is why I diversify. XRP is my number one holding, Bitcoin my number two, Ethereum my number three. So my portfolio looks amazing right now with Ethereum over $3,000. And of course, I'm expecting higher prices and higher returns on my investment. So as you can see here from this headline, Ethereum hits $3,000 for the first time, now larger than Bank of America. Further growth may be on the horizon for the world's largest smart contract platform. And that is, of course, the big differentiator for Ethereum, a smart contract platform that has first mover advantage, huge adoption. It had the adoption in the ICO boom in 2017. It's now getting that adoption from NFTs, uh, DeFi, and many other things, guys. And that's why I hold in my portfolio. I've shown you guys the reasons behind why I think Ethereum could go to $10,000, that Amazon blockchain services has it listed as an option for users to build blockchains using the Ethereum blockchain. So there's a lot of big things happening here and it is getting adoption. Now, does it have scalability issues? Yes, but they have been working on that. Um, Ethereum 2.0 is what's taking place. So I'm just glad I diversified. I'm making money across the board. And I, of course, diversify to reduce the risk in my portfolio. Now, those of you who are channel members have direct access to my portfolio. So you can, of course, go through the details here. Now, guys, check this out. Mogo bought $405,880 of Ethereum, plans to allocate up to 5% of cash into crypto. Uh, this is interesting. This is, this is really bullish. And we continue to see publicly traded companies are buying crypto as a hedge. So Nasdaq traded Mogo, a digital payments fintech company, said it bought about 146 Ether at the price of $2,780 as part of its plan to allocate 5% of its cash investment portfolio into cryptocurrencies. Mogo said it had, it's already purchased about 18 Bitcoins to date in open market transactions at an average price of $33,083. Guys, you see what's happening here? I mean, th th this may become common news now where companies are doing this, but guys, th these are companies, publicly traded companies. It started with MicroStrategy. We saw Tesla do it. We saw some others, uh, smaller companies do it. And it's happening across the globe. There have been um, some, co uh, some companies in Asian markets that have bought uh, Bitcoin as a hedge, and now they're buying Ethereum. So... We guys are on the right side of history here. We are on the side of smart money, getting in at the lows, and companies are coming in now, buying up the the assets, and that is very bullish. That's why a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin price, a ten thousand dollar Ethereum price, 
a, a $15 XRP and so on and so forth is not uh, far-fetched when you think about the demand, the rise in demand and the macroeconomic factors that are forcing these companies to do this, right? So we are seeing uh, just across the board, the buying up of these assets from just different demographics. Now it's companies, right? And we saw the hedge funds and wealthy investors, Paul Tudor Jones started it, MicroStrategy started the corporations doing it. Um, and I think we're going to see some of the more more a capitulation on this front. And now to see Bitcoin is is the doorway to a lot of the to the crypto market. To a lot of these companies start with Bitcoin, then they move to Ethereum, then they go they'll go down the list. I think we all know how that works. Now, guys, here's the big news of the day: eBay CEO says they're exploring Bitcoin and crypto payments as well as NFT auctions. Of course they are. You better get on board this train or you will become the next Blockbuster. The same way Blockbuster ignored the internet, they did not innovate, they did not adopt, and they went out of business. Businesses who do not adopt blockchain and crypto will get left behind, and they have a high risk potential of going out of business. This is, we're headed to the digital economy, the token economy, and crypto is a part of that. So let me play the clip here for you. I mean, given the fact that you parted ways with PayPal a couple of years ago, when you look at that company or some of the others in the payments processing space, cryptocurrency is taking on more attention. It's it's being adopted. How are you approaching that at eBay? Yeah, you know, one of the great things about our managed payments is we're expanding the types of payments that we take. So we now take Apple Pay and Google Pay, more chores for buyers. We'll continue to look at other options like cryptocurrency. You know, one of the great things about eBay is when there's a new trend, it just shows up on eBay. That's what we're seeing in areas like NFT, which we're um, looking at how can we explore that better because eBay is really known as the place to transact goods. You know, with 187 million buyers on the platform, this is the place that sellers come to get scale demand. And we're really happy the seller growth as well was incredibly strong in Q1. And we're really pleased with how sellers are migrating to the platform, taking their offline business and bringing it online and getting access to the world's reach through eBay. So does that mean that you're getting into the NFT business? You know, we're looking at it and exploring opportunities for how we can enable it on eBay in an easy way. When you think about collectibles, everything that's really collectible has been on eBay for decades and will continue to be for the next few decades. How long do you think it will take you to try and understand how to actually make that work, if you make it work? Well, you know, there's parts that are already transacting on eBay today, people are already transacting. And so what we're all about is how do we enable and take out the friction and the experience? So everything that we're doing in our playbook is how to make eBay simpler for buyers. We're acquiring a lot of new Gen Z buyers through things like our sneakers, where they're coming on and they start buying in one category and then they start buying across the whole site. Right, all right. Wow, guys. A couple of things. eBay is one of the biggest winners that came out of the dot-com boom in the 90s, right? Along with Amazon, Google, so on and so forth. I don't think I need to tell you about how big eBay is. And he mentioned like over 180 million um, uh, users and so on and so forth. So mass adoption, guys, is, is going to be pushed forward here because if you have these large marketplaces, which people commonly use, start accepting crypto and pushing people to use crypto as a payment, what do you think is going to happen, right? Um, and remember, game theory. Want to guess who's looking at this and like, okay, we need to get going on this. Amazon, Google, these these places that have, uh, obviously, we, Amazon, the largest online retailer, right? But Google shopping and so forth, you're going to see more companies do this. And it just takes one. Like it took Paul Tudor Jones to put up the green flag, the green light to the rest of the hedge funds. MicroStrategy, the green light for companies to put Bitcoin in a balance sheet. eBay, accepting crypto payments as one of the largest marketplaces. Green light for the rest of the shopping re online retailer, retailer excuse me, retail companies and marketplaces. So expect Amazon is not going to be far behind, guys. This is so bullish. I hope you see what's on the horizon here, where we're headed, and the full digital ecosystem being built out with tokenization of money, the digital dollar, um, obviously tokenization of assets and securities, NFTs, obviously is a clear indication of that. We've been talking about this for years, the token economy. And you're going to have both the on and off ramps built here, the ability to buy, sell, trade crypto, and spend it. 
Um, and that's why you have Amazon, uh, excuse me, PayPal. They started doing this last year and they're, gonna, they're integrated into Venmo as well. But the, the merchants are going to be able to accept it who are using PayPal, right? So on and off ramps being built on both sides, guys. This is so bullish. I, I can't overemphasize. I don't have the superlatives to <laughs> emphasize how big this is. Uh, I, I mean, once again, Amazon is on the, on the way. So Grayscale parent firm DCG to expand GBTC buy limit to uh, $500 million. So Grayscale's parent company, um, Digital Currency Group, and of course, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm, I'm interviewing uh, Grayscale Director of Research uh, this week, so you don't want to miss that. They have purchased a total of $194 million worth of GBTC shares so far. Now, like I said when I first reported on this, I don't know how we feel about this because it's the parent company. It's not like a third party, right? But uh, is there something necessarily wrong with that? No, but could they be hiding like some problems with Grayscale? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not, I don't want to say that's a de definite thing. But when I see things like this, a parent company buying up something, uh, I don't know. You know, I'm I'll just leave it at that, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, maybe I'll ask Grayscale's... Um, uh, a director of in, a research um, about this and see and get his thoughts. Now, there's one item I forgot to pull up here for you guys, and that is uh, we had an update today that the digital dollar project, there's going to be some multiple pilots happening this year. So the, the U.S. is looking to ramp this up. So here, Chris Giancarlo, who I interviewed um, a couple months ago, um, they're looking to start testing this with... with um, a bunch of other folks here so Accenture and so on and so forth who's been working with them and I tweeted about it today where I said look I spoke to Chris Giancarlo about this and I think some big things are coming up I think it's time for the US to remain competitive here so I'll put a link to that description uh, excuse me I'll put a link in the description to that interview with Chris Giancarlo where he talks about the digital dollar project and crypto regulations and so on and so forth I'll put that in the description so be sure to check it out so guys what do you think about this uh do you agree with me that ethereum is going to go to ten thousand dollars this respective bull cycle um what do you think about uh ebay I mean, this is huge adoption news. And once again, game theory suggests Amazon is on the way. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Hit the thumbs up button, share this video, and I'll talk to you all later.